Bob Asani takes a look now at the pressure from crude that's building over stocks. It's about the dollar and oil again. For the second time in as many days, the market started on a positive note, but then headed south when the dollar rallied and oil dropped, and we closed at our lows. It's the lower for longer issue. Many believe that oil will stay lower for longer well into 2016. So if oil's at $35 six months from now, a lot of small exploration and production companies might go out of business because they won't be able to get the financing to keep exploring. Now, in part, this is a supply problem. Saudi Arabia has refused to cut production, and it's trying to drive U.S. shale producers out of business. Now, they're all down, but they're not out yet. Who's going to blink first? We don't know. This lower for longer argument applies to several other industries. Deutsche Bank downgraded a bunch of steel stocks today, saying they expect lower steel prices to continue into next year. As for the markets, if oil would stabilize, there's a good chance we will rally going into the end of the year. And if oil goes up even a bit, we could have a significant rally, like 4 or 5 percent. That would be enough to turn a lot of accounts from positive to negative for the year. But if oil keeps dropping like today, it could spoil any hopes for a year-end rally. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.